Hey y'all, it's me Lab Rat, and today we're making another episode of the video series where I look at what went wrong with certain fur YouTubers and conventions. It's named Fur History and I hope you guys do enjoy it. My last episode was over four weeks ago. And it was actually quite a very long episode since you know, most of the things barely ever go over 10 minutes. The only reason I haven't made another one of these things is because other topics have showed up and I was busy choking out Ephraim Nelms' girlfriend. <sighs> listen, listen, listen. I'm really getting stressed out. Who the heck is Lab Rat? People keep making spinel ASMRs. <clears throat> I can't see the Steve Universe future. <laughs> but today I received a suggestion. Talk about Genesius Wolf. Now I truly enjoy suggested videos. One I've done in the past is on the Burned Furs videos. I enjoyed making I enjoyed making it since I actually had to research a topic I've never heard of. But Genesis Wolf is someone I have heard of. This person who made a comment told me that his content had taken a very dramatic shift and taking a look at his channel it truly has had a huge change. Yo he up something, yo little Uzi. So he joined YouTube on October 20, 28, 2015. He quickly rose to fame in mid 2016, March to be exact. I believe there are other videos but he may have private them. His large video having over 91k and some having under 250. Now let's speak about the main reason. Main reason of the video, the content. Is this okay? That's one. Is this okay? That's one. Genesius began by making the cathartic like videos. We'd have a little wolf dance around on screen where we spoke about certain topics, ranging from politi politics, sexuality, the dreaded iron band, and many, many more. I typically describe him like cathartic because a millions of channels use stills. Genesius just kind of falls into the character of the polyphory. A furry that speaks a lot about politics and centers themselves around controversy and geopolitical goings within the fandom. It's like people you see on Twitter when you're like, holy shit, furry suits are so cute. Then they pop up, hey, did you know 95% of the furry fandom are pedophiles and zoophiles and they've assaulted everyone they've done? I'm here to expose them. Like, I know. There is a huge problem with that. I'm not ad I'm not like saying that they should be accepted in any way, but please just let me be happy and not have to worry about that. Like it's such a bummer to hear. I want to just enjoy my carpets that are worth two thousand quid monies. I'm not saying that I'm in support of pedos or zoophiles. Man, I'm gonna get fucking cancelled. I don't care. <laughs> but the only reason I think people seeing Genesis as any different is the fact that he was a Christian and would add a sort of Christian undertone to the rants and arguments he made. But over time, he strayed away from his content. He he moved towards short films and then a spiral into the dark dungeons of Has Been Hotel. Are you fucking filming us right now? So I brought Coyote Lovely along to react to this video entitled "All Letter Furs Go to Hell." Oh yeah, it's just, it's such a weird fucking thing to see where it's just like, oh yeah, this guy who helped me, big thanks to him, he's, he's down below, you know what else is below? Hell. It's like, wait, uh, what, what are you, what kind of, what kind of impression am I meant to be left with here, man? Okay. Is he in hell? All leather books go to hell. That sounds hot. Oh no. It's like a leafy video at a furry convention somewhere. This literally looks like a leafy video. Oh. <laughs> Fuck! That was such a radical shift! Oh yeah, this leather pup Harry Potter shit is tight. We gotta get Alan Rickman walking in here now, that would just... Yeah, that was so... But like, what I can't get over is that it starts with like this like, leafy looking thing with like, the, just the PNGs moving across a regular hotel lobby. Suddenly we got this weird discount poor man source filmmaker looking thing. Like, what happened to the budget on this and where's just anything? Or is that, why aren't their eyes matching up with the eye hole? They're, they're literally looking through the bridge of the nose. <laughs> right. Don't question it. Let's continue. Look at it, Barnabas. Now that the brew is complete, we'll pour <laughs> this into the convention center water supply and turn everyone into leather pups. Gary, this is like the twelfth time you've said our plans out loud in the last hour. I yeah, swear to God, if we see. get caught... Yeah, his eyebrows are eating get, the mask. Just get ready. That was abrupt. Son of a bitch, Gary! Don't even think about it, fiend! Jesus, You're too late! Just watch as I shall pour this into the... Oh, 
hell yeah. Oh, that, that, that right there, I love that. When did Genesius become a superhero of justice? <laughs> I really don't know, I love it. Do you think this is how, like, <laughs> what the fuck, he just, he left in there. Oh my god. He left in there like it was gonna just, like, put his kid through college. <laughs> Did he go to hell, or did he become like chicken soup? What happened here? Just grabs him by the face. I love it. Oh, what? This has a door. Oh my god. This has a dick or something. Oh, it's too. Oh. Okay. Oh. That's a very, very strange character. You shall know pain, whether you like it or not. That was a great pun, man. But you're still Wait, you finished. This looks like those like old school like crystal animations from Star Fox. You know, I think it's made of the same thing. Well, guys, the convention is no more. God has decided it. I love that an entire fucking building just collapsed on his shit, just completely flattened him, and there's only a couple little rots on him. Like, <laughs> oh yeah, he's he's totally okay. He's above everything. It was a fucking like twenty-story building. I don't think we should read it. The Fed is saved. So Christianity saved the fandom. Well, first of all, through God, all things are possible, so what? Uh, jot that down. <laughs> jot down. Um, just... is, he, has a, he has a girlfriend? I, yeah, I, I'll tell you after the thing. I'm not saying it on video, but okay, right. Just get ready for this. This video is a whole train wreck. Are, are you ready? I have to turn it down because it just gets so loud midway through. Listen, listen, listen. I'm really getting stressed out. Who the heck is Lab Rat? People keep making Spinel ASMRs. I can't see the Steve Universe future. <laughs> what the fuck was that? It just goes like. Wait, wait, wait. What, what was that at the end there? What, what, who was that? That didn't. What? <laughs> just what was any of that? They just were, so they're like. They started off with like, who the heck is Lab Rat? And then. It's like, if they keep making Spinel ASMRs, which are, uh, I just don't. And then it's it's just, yeah, it's... And then, it's think, like when people say clap back, they don't mean literally smack your camera and just, <laughs> like, let it go flying. They mean you make points refuting what people are saying. Oh, yeah, as well. Do you know the way? Remember Ephraim Nam said that I'm, a, I'm, I'm like, racist? For, I called him, like, a very derogatory word. Yeah, and like you started spamming it in your comments section, because yeah. that's apparently like a thing that makes it more valid, I guess. So apparently also I uh, strangled, like, black girls. Strangled by- What?! It upsets me that black that's girls- That's such a claim! Black girls get strangled by white men, and in this entire video he's just saying, Lamra shouldn't have strangled a black girl. And I'm just like, okay, oh but my you god. Yeah, like, you very obviously didn't strangle anybody, and, like, I don't understand why he thinks that's the thing to fucking say, like, that's gonna get him out of the hot water. Oh, yeah, let's say that he strangled somebody, and just say it, and say that it's a like, fucking fact, and it's like, are, are, dude, are you just, do you have the brain damage, Ephraim Nels? <laughs> anyway, boys, that's gonna be, uh, what's it, Kyoto Lovely's beautiful contribution to this video, and... I'll leave a link down to his his channel all down below. He's shouted me out, and I'm shouting him out back. And what can you do, my effeminate fellow? I can suck your dick. Ha! No. Your loss. Now, something I see a lot is the catharics effect. This happens when a YouTuber normally leaves the furry fandom, makes one style of content that fans enjoy, then they make a huge shift of their style or leave the fandom all of a sudden, and the viewership tanks and drops like a brick off a skyscraper. 
Of course, every channel is going to have poor souls that check back to the channel every so often, or the poor souls who end up falling into the random clickbait of the channel brings out brings out. But the effects of the channel, the effects of this, will never truly bring any big results. And what I love about Genesius is, while it takes Genesius a million years to ponder and work the philosophy of the world to make one video, here's my brain making ten. Eggs. I know what I'm using this for. Oh, you oh. are bastards! Oh my god! All right, everybody. Sorry that I haven't been uh, uploading in the week, but thank you guys so much for watching once again. Big thank to Kyoto and Lovey for being in this video, and if you want to go subscribe to him and all his other shit, I'll leave it all down below. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching once again, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.